Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. I'm Robbie Robertson, along with Oklahoma State head football coach Pat Jones. This past weekend, the Cowboys finished the non-conference portion of their schedule as they traveled to Fort Worth to take on Texas Christian University. The final score was TCU 13, Oklahoma State 11. It was an emotional and physical ball game, and uh, Pat also marked the debut uh, as a starting quarterback uh, for freshman uh, Gary Porter. Yeah, Robbie, I thought going in, we felt like it was pretty much an even matchup. Uh, TCU has got a fairly good defensive football team. They, they played well defensively most throughout the season. Uh, Gary Porter has been getting better and better and better, and we went ahead and gave him most of the snaps with the number one unit all week. Uh, he's got to now learn how to handle the pressures involving being the starting quarterback. Certainly there's a lot of things that he has got to get better at, but uh, I think we think he will. Uh, but again, this, this ball game was, was essentially even, uh, and when you get in one of those, just like the flip side of the one with Tulsa last week, there's a lot of instances where if one guy had done a little, something a little bit better or some of this sort of stuff, you're going to win the game. But, you know, it basically went in even and essentially came out even other than TCU beat us 13-11. to 11. You had indicated all week it would be a close ball game, and it was. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. A beautiful night for football and in Fort Worth. Oklahoma State won the toss. Uh, four captains all from the Metroplex area. Uh, Oklahoma State deferred, so we pick it up with TCU's first possession, Coach. Well, we took it and, and really couldn't do anything with it. And, 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 and Scott Tyner punted him down there. Boy, he had a great night punting the ball. Uh, they tried to run a sweep and really don't get a lot out of it. Uh, again, you can see it's Keith Burns right there who I think continues to get better. Uh, we thought we played fairly well in spots defensively. I, in my opinion, we can still pick the pace up and play, and play in a little bit more of a frenzy. They were alternating quarterbacks. We got a little bit lucky there. They had a guy open, couldn't hit him. Leon Clay, the returning starter, and then Max Knocky, the true freshman. They tried to run a draw, and here's Keith Burns again. It was a funny game from the standpoint that we kept them bottled up most of the first half. They were operating on their end of the field. There's Burns right there. Good play, Keith. Uh, second half, they kept us pretty well bottled up on our end of the field. Uh, neither offensive unit was able to really sustain a heck of a lot as far as real long drives and a lot of big plays. Okay, here's our next possession. Uh, I thought Rafael was going to come out of this one and have a chance right there. They has got a, they had a couple of guys that had it to him, or two had an angle on him, and number six made a good play. But uh, here again now, uh, he had a good night. Uh, it's a good job here. Uh, we got him pinned back to the inside. Uh, Denson uh, makes a good cut and explodes right in here and cuts back, and you can see he's running through some tackles. Now, uh, you can see they finally got him pinned up at one time from over on the sideline. It looked like he might break the thing and run and score. He still looks to me, Robbie, like he's within a hair a lot of times of, of breaking the ball. We ran the fullback up inside and made four or five yards. Uh, you know, it looked like here we had a chance to go off down in there and really do something. Mark Williams, again, we continue to rotate the tailbacks with it, which I think helps us, helps all of them. Uh, again, run the fullback for not much uh, down here on the 16-yard line. Uh, fourth down, we sneak it and make it uh, comfortably. Uh, we've got actually uh, both fullbacks in the ball game. That spat's coming in motion. Boy, if we if we could several times in during the course of the ball game, if, if we could have gotten one guy knocked down, you're probably gonna hit a big one and run and score. He almost did it there. Uh, this is this is John White. Now again, we put John in at tailback, and that's a good determined run on his part. Uh, here we go, fullback, nothing going here. But TCU throughout the course of the season has been playing pretty well defensively. The freshman, uh, Lawson Vaughn comes in and, and kicks a field goal and we've got a three to nothing lead. And again, we basically have kept them bottled up on, on their end of the field. Okay, here they come. This and, is their very next possession. Okay, uh, I tell you, they're two tailbacks, uh, Colors and Mockins, that's Colors right there. I thought ran really hard. Okay, here they're trying to run a quick screen. We had a little bit of a stunt on with Gildon and Carlos Irving. And, they hit Leon Clay in the head. They were continuing to alternate quarterbacks back and in, in forth. There's the sack right there. There, there was quite a, a bit of this on both sides. Neither one of us could really effectively protect on, on a lot of that kind of stuff. We uh, Cowboys lead 3-0 at the end of the first quarter. We pick it up with Oklahoma State's uh, first possession in the second quarter. Well, now we're down on their end of the field. There's a counter play. Denson breaks this. Almost came out of that last tackle. Again, I think Denson ended up the night with uh, I think he had 99 yards and four yards in losses, and uh, so he was right at 100. Again, a, a, another pretty good night for him. I think he continues to get better. And 
like I say, number one knocked him down, and, and he was very close to going the distance on that one there. He continues to be a very, very explosive back, and I do think it helps him to alternate Mark Williams in there. Okay, here, here we're on, run the sweep here, and again, it, 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 Rafael could see things then closing on him, but TCU can run pretty good. All right, they've got the all-out blitz on us here. Porter circles the thing, gets out in the open field. He's going to run over that kid right there, uh, number two. And again, Porter, Porter is kind of this way. Uh, okay, they had the all-out blitz on. Gary comes out of it, and he's got some running ability. No, feel like he is not what I would consider a real fast guy, but he can run pretty good. Now, when he gets out in in traffic, you can see him lower his shoulder right there, and he almost ran over kid. Now we've got first and goal. On the nine yard, this is a real big play in the ball game coming up. We've got a three nothing lead. We're on there into the field. Try to run a bootleg here, and the ball bounces off. Him. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. The TCU game is the first of back-to-back uh, -back road games for Oklahoma State. Let's pick up the action in the second half. Oklahoma State uh, had the option uh, they wanted to receive. We, we pick it up with your second possession here in the third quarter, Pat. Big run by Mark yeah, Williams. Yeah, this is a good run by Mark Williams. We, here, we run this counter play. This, the timing of this play is, is not easy, and we've been working on it and, and, and getting better at it. It's a play that, that, that we have over the course of several years been pretty effective with which adds to the offense. Again, the, you, you got to run it and you got to work on it, but we got some plays out of it during the course of the night. And Mark ran well. Okay, we still got Williams. It's a good tough yardage here. Uh, again, probably with one exception, I think I think Mark played a good ball game. Okay, here's here's the sweep here. And, and we turn some people loose on him. On the same hand, he still gets positive yardage. All right, here's Gary going back. And, you know, again, they've got, he hadn't got much time to do anything and tries to come out and they're all over him on the blitz. Uh, but again, I think these sorts of things he will see better and, and, and again, just get rid of the ball and get it all thrown in completion when you're not taking a big minus play. They uh, made four or five yards out there, Carlos Serving, uh, Jason late Gilder. In the third quarter now. Late in the third quarter. Okay, here's Max Knocky. They, they hit some third down plays up in front of us that you got to give them credit for doing that. All right, uh, I think this is Colors, one of the other running backs coming in here. I, th I thought they ran hard. I thought their backs ran hard. Okay, here they turn around and, and toss it in Modkins, and he slips down. Uh, I think we had the thing played. You know, again, they were able to play most of the second half down on our end of the field. Okay, here's Max Knocky coming out and throwing deep. A nice play, Scotty Harmon. See, so, yeah, their receiver core, uh, Shipley and those guys, they're pretty tall guys, and they have played. They've been good players down there for last several years. Okay. Now, this is fourth quarter uh, for our viewers, and this is uh, the touchdown drive. For okay, you. now, boy, Denson does a halfback pass on first and ten. Well, Rafael, who obviously is left-handed, makes a great throw. Uh, Burt Milner got open on. They have gone ahead on us. They've scored their touchdown, right, Robbie? Yes, sir. It's 13-3. to three. It's 13-3 to three right now. Good job, Rafael. This is a well-thrown ball. Again, uh, uh, Burt Milner got in behind him. And now we're off down there. There's still plenty of time left in the ball game. We're off down in there, and, and, and you know, it's, it's going to be right down to the wire, which it was. Good job, Burt Milner. Okay, here, here again. Okay, this is a nice determined run here by Denson, although it doesn't make much, and they've got it wadded up. And uh, you can see we've got the ball down in there. Okay, run here. This is a nice cut here. He almost came out of that one right there, which, again, I think as things go, go on further with him, he will. All right, good. Okay, there we go. Okay, if we, again, they made a nice play right here. For, again, if we, if we could have knocked that one guy down, probably got a chance. Porter comes back. Okay, we try to go deep. Uh, oh, boy, what a great, great catch by Mark Cheatwood. Big league throwing catch right there. Okay, Porter's got a strong arm. Yeah, we can give him time to get his feet set, which he does right here. Throws this ball extremely well. Boy, it's a great catch. Yeah, great, great, great catch by Mark Cheatwood. Good coverage, and uh, Cheatwood looked it all the way in, made a great p uh, catch, pick up a 40. Yeah, I'll say that, and that was a big play. Okay, we're off down here now. Uh, okay, run the sweep. This, this is really a good run here. I, you know, we turned a couple of guys loose on him. Okay, just we're again banging it up in here. We turn somebody loose on the back side of the thing and, and make nothing. All right, here we're going to come out right here, try to run the sprint pass, knock the guy down. See, we cannot get this guy knocked down, which causes this thing problem. Gary did a really good job there of just throwing the ball away. Okay, this is the trick play. I think we've got several replays out here. I think I saw the Cleveland Browns or somebody run this on television a couple of years ago, and it worked. <laughs> We've been working on it for two years. I won't really been stayed wanting to, use, wanting to use it against Colorado, but we needed to do it right here. It, 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 
again, we get, always go over this. You go with the officials in the pregame where they don't get caught with it. Oh. Uh, uh, again, we was kind of in the change of guys. When guys are running in, guys are running out. Uh, we, we did it, got it off. They didn't see the guy. And didn't cut. It's a two-point try right here. Boy, a great catch, Rafael Denson. Nice throw on Gary Porter's part. So now uh, we got our, here's a replay of the same thing. Uh, Porter gets set. Uh, boy, watch this by Denson. That's a great, great diving catch right there. It's 13 to 11. A field goal will win the ball game. They get it. We have another possession, Robbie. Get off down there. Can't do anything with it. Uh, we're not going to show the final moments. You know, TCU kind of got down in our last possession. You know, we got to fling it. Nothing happened there. But uh, you'd like to show the final part. We still had another chance at this and had a chance at an interception that went through our hands. But again, it was pretty much an even game. And, and you got to give the TCU staff and, and, and their kids a lot of credit. You know, they, they, they were two points better than we were. The, um the, the 78 yard drive uh, for the, the touchdown that brought you to within two points. Uh, you felt, you could feel the momentum shifting and, and uh, the defense holds them, but just weren't able to get the ball back down there. Uh, and just one of those things that a disappointing well, loss for we, the ball. Well, you know, we had, we had a second and nine, and I can't really fault Mark Williams because he was trying run up in there and he, and he tries to make a cut and comes out. We take a 14 yard loss. And that was, I think, at about the 32-yard line or something like that on second and nine. We'd hit a couple of passes. If you can hit one more pass, we're going to get in legitimate field goal range. And you think, you know, well, who knows? You might have hit it, you might not. But, boy, you'd love to have had a chance at it. This uh, has been a, a tough series with TCU and the ball game this past Saturday night was no different. You stay with us. The Pat Jones Show will continue. We'll take a look at the uh, play of the week. Stay with us. The Pat Jones Show will be back right after this is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. You picked a good time to call this one, uh, Coach. Uh, everybody take a look, and we'll, we'll show it to you several times, the, the fake field goal and touchdown to Keith. Well, the ball needs to be on the hash over there by our bench area. Uh, again, the, the kicker in, is just watching to see if they covered. I saw 26 eyes. We were watching him. He literally did. Okay, here you can see. You see, we're coming on the field. You can see back up at the top. Steve Keith has acted like he has walked off the field, but he just lines up. And, okay, they don't cover him. The cornerback never saw him. If they had a we'd have just called timeout or taken a penalty and kicked a field goal. Again, touchdown Oklahoma State. You hate to have to get into trick plays to score touchdowns, obviously. But we it was set up exactly like it needed to be set up. And we executed well because, again, we've been working on it for two years. We ought to execute it well. <laughs> you look at the numbers uh, in the ball game, Coach, and you hold TCU to, to under 300 yards total mm -hmm. offense. And, and uh, the Cowboys are really able to run the ball pretty well. But uh, TCU had sacked uh, the SMU quarterback yeah. eight times the previous week and were able to put some pressure on Porter. Well, I think, again, they, they – probably intelligently knew that we were fairly limited in certain areas with Gary and when they could blitz us again these are the things that he either pick it up and get a big play or you just get rid of the ball and don't take minus yardage we again we come back to we had 140 yards Robbie in minus yards which is gonna well that's tough to overcome that sort of stuff of course they had some of the same things but I think as Gary matures again and I say let the game come to you and hey if it's not there you know don't try to just take it upon your shoulders and now he has got some creative qualities about himself these things that, that, that he will get better, and I think that is just experience. It, we're still hit and miss enough offensively. You get going, then somebody won't sustain a block, and you can. Just, we're fairly close on some things. I mean, it's going to be hold on to your hat all year long, and we're going to have to play well. But we fully intend to do that in all phases. All right. The non-conference portion of the schedule is over. Next up, Big Eight conference play. We'll talk about that as the Pat Jones Show continues right after this. This cowboy magic moment is brought to you by Johnson's of Kingfisher and Chickasha. The 1988 Holiday Bowl saw Oklahoma State explode for a 62-14 win over Wyoming. Heisman winner Barry Sanders rushed for 222 yards and five touchdowns. Mike Gundy passed for a school record 315 yards and All-America Hartley Dykes caught 10 passes for 163 yards. It was Oklahoma State's ninth bowl victory in 12 tries and another Cowboy Magic moment. I like those rides off the field that way, huh, Coach? Well, I like those 62-point explosions. <laughs> I mean, boy, is that ever appropriate. I, you know, we scored. That was the fourth highest scoring 
offensive unit in the history of college football ever. I think it still is, it's, we still are fourth there. And <laughs> here we are scoring 11 points this week. I shouldn't all be laughing, but it's really not funny. But, you know, I wish we could take some of those yards and points and kind of distribute them out over the course. <laughs> they would still go a long way. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a great, great offensive football team. And, uh, uh, you know, the very talented players and guys that really knew what they were doing. And, uh, uh, sure, at some point I'd like to think we could kind of start getting back a little bit that way. Uh, you've got uh, four games under your belt. Now you got to go back on the road uh, this week to take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers, and they've had a, a week off to, to prepare for you. Well, you know, they lost that tough ball game to Washington, to a very, very good Washington football team in Seattle two weeks ago. And, and I, th I think Nebraska is, is really very good. I mean, they're a very good defensive football team. The, the two running backs, I, I, I think, are the best in combination anybody's got in the country, of course. You know, they've been that way for a pretty good while. But, boy, they're really, really talented guys. Uh, we'll have to continue to play well defensively to have any chance at, at them. But we intend to do that. Uh, it, it, it's tough. They're a physical football team. We expect that. Uh, expect that kind of ball game. We've got to continue to get better. Yes, we're into Big A play now. That always adds a luster to it. Right. Uh, that is, is something a little bit different. Again, we're coming out. You'd love to have come out of the, the non-league three and one. We're two and two. Okay, so now uh, what we get done here, I don't know the injury report at this time. We're a little bit banged up, but I don't think it's anything real bad. Uh, again, these ball games with Nebraska have been knocked down, drag out affairs up there. To, last time we were there, we were going right down into the fourth quarter with a legitimate chance to the thing, then fumble a couple of kicks. So, again, we'll have to play well, but we got all intentions of doing that. All right. Uh, with the Big 8 Conference play starting and on the road against Nebraska, certainly won't have any problem getting the attention of the players this week as the Big 8 Conference season gets underway. We're out of time for this week. Thank you for joining us. Good luck to you, Pat, on the road against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Join us again next week for the Pat Jones Show. For Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University, I'm Robbie Robertson. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>